Hi everyone, this is Fibro Herbs with FibroSavings.com and today I wanted to address um, a question that's come up. Um, some people want to know who is Fibro Herbs and where did I come from? How did I start off couponing or doing couponing videos? <laughs> Well, um, actually, my name is Veronica Easterlin Thomas, and I am a wellness coach and aromatherapist. And I started out um, as a direct sales coach. Um, I had been in direct selling, uh, a direct selling business of some sort for the last 20 years or so. And I uh, developed an organization called the Multicultural Direct Selling Alliance, which was a resource network for direct sellers and others to come together and, um, I guess, find out. Well, it was a resource information network for direct sellers. And I also coached um, on the corporate level. I actually coached direct sell company owners. Um, regarding um, improving different programs for their business. Um, in fact, one of my greatest accomplishments was having one of my clients go on Oprah Winfrey um, that was Eden Body Works. That happened a few years back as well as she went on several other um, television programs. Um, I developed a distribution program uh, for them uh, because she wanted to distribute her products in beauty salons. Uh, they have since um, gone online and just, uh, I think, sell products online now. Uh, but it was a natural beauty uh, uh, hair care product line. And I think you can still get their products at EdenBodyWorks.com or .net. Um, but my last client um, pushed me in um, the direction that I feel more comfortable in, and that is the wellness arena. And that's when I became a wellness consultant um, after the direct sales industry kind of took a hit when the economy um, took a hit. And so one of my last clients was um, an aromatherapy company called Lakisma Aromatherapy. Um, it closed its U.S. division here and I think it merged with another company in the U.K. and eventually went out of business. Um, but I took a great deal of information away from that company. Um, this is where when I fell in love with essential oils and aromatherapy. Um, I was in a car accident at the time that I was coaching um, the owner, Lisa, and um, I used a muscle cream uh, that I actually bought at the store when I was in physical therapy because the physical therapist suggested that I use a muscle cream beforehand so I wouldn't hurt so bad after physical therapy. And this muscle cream literally burned my skin. Like it was a curling iron took to, a hot curling iron took to my skin and melted my skin away. That's how bad it was. And when I told my client about it, um, she said, you know, I'm going to send you these essential oils. I'm going to send you a whole kit. And she sent me a kit of essential oils and carriers and taught me how to mix my own uh, massage oils and um, how to blend essential oils. And that not only um, did not bother my skin, but it also actually helped to heal um, my shoulder injury because me having fibromyalgia I ended up developing a trigger point after that car accident called chronic myofascial pain in addition to um, just having fibromyalgia but I developed a trigger point in my left trapezius muscle in my left shoulder and that essential oil blend uh, that she taught me to make really helped to um, uh, heal that shoulder and even though I have flare-ups of it, I still have my oils that I use, and I'm able to um, control the pain. And so it just sort of took me into a whole new world, um, dealing with essential oils and aromatherapy products. And so um, from that point on, when they went closed the U.S. division and went out of business, I was still stuck on aromatherapy. So I. I actually came across someone here locally that um, taught aromatherapy workshops and I became a certified aromatherapist through her workshop. 
Uh, she was trained in France, the UK, and Australia. And if anyone knows anything about France, then they know that that is the place to get the training. And um, she was actually trained under a French physician in uh, France because they actually use um, essential oils in their medical systems. So um, from that point on, after I became certified, um, I started teaching aromatherapy workshops myself and developed a spin-off organization called the Multicultural Aromatherapy Organization. Um, I've taught um, workshops once or twice a year for the last three years and I have, in fact I was privileged to have a client to contact me to have um, me draft a letter for her to use, uh, to take to her professor because she's getting certified in um, a wellness field um, in, in her university and she was able to get credit for um, the workshops that she took with me and so I was like wow I didn't know that they could actually do that but her f professor said that at their particular university any type of outside instruction like that they can <clears throat> actually get um, college credit for it so I was like wow cool um, so being that um, the workshops that I teach was an uh, was actually um, very serious um, because you actually do get a certification that you can use in conjunction with your you know wellness business massage therapy business you know whatever um, you know if you're a hairdresser you know whatever type of business that you have here in the United States you can um, do 200 hours of aromatherapy training and then you can become a certified aromatherapist and use it in conjunction with your business. So it's such a serious subject. A lot of times I don't get to blog and, you know, let people know just who I am and what I'm about. So that's when, you know, I kind of came across the, the couponing videos after seeing extreme couponing. Um, I've always used coupons all my life basically to take down the uh, the price of regular priced items when it wasn't on sale but then once I learned how to strategically shop with coupons then I realized I was shopping the wrong way <laughs> and um, the work that I do in the fiber magic community as you can see here at bellaonline.com forward slash site that's s-i-t-e forward slash f-i-b-c-f-s that is the website that I've ran for several years. Um, many, I get many emails from people saying that they have lost their jobs or, um, you know, how can I get on disability, you know, because fibromyalgia has taken them out of the work arena. In fact, that's why I became a wellness coach because when I developed fibromyalgia, I could not work a, a 9 to 5 like everybody else or 8 to 5 <laughs> as it is now. <laughs> um, so that's when I started thinking, you know, why not share the information regarding um, the money that I've saved when starting to make my own organic and aromatherapy personal care products and health products, um, you know, such as when we have cold or flu and so forth, different rubs, and I, I learned how to make all that. <laughs> especially when I did my aromatherapy training so why not teach it to others and then when I started saving with the coupons I'm like wow this is even better <laughs> and so some people that um, in the fibromyalgia community that I've gotten emails from I mean they're like physicians I've had a physician contact me I've had um, a lawyer contact me uh, desperate because they could not work any longer because of having fibromyalgia. So a lot of people are taking a real big hit in their income because of not being able to work a regular job with this illness. So at my fibromyalgia support group, which I'm the fibromyalgia support group leader at one of the local hospitals here in my town, 
um, I taught a couponing class on how to shop at Rite, just shopping at Rite Aid. And when they saw my receipts and they saw that I still had books to spend, and then they, they were like, oh, I cannot believe this. You mean to tell me I can get all of my medicine, you know, my supplements that we need, or, you know, I can get other medicines that I need. I can get muscle creams. I can get all this kind of stuff for free, <laughs> you know. And, you know, it just sort of took off from there. So I, I developed the fibrosavings.com blog. It was already a blog about direct selling. I sort of switched it over and uh, put a URL to it and became fibrosavings.com. So that's why it's called Fibro Savings. It's savings for everybody, but you know, particularly people in the fibromyalgia community or whoever have a have has a chronic illness that has um, taken them out as far as the workforce and they're struggling financially. Uh, with couponing, you can really reverse that. <coughs> Excuse me. And so this is my fibromyalgia website. Um, I'm also considered a fibromyalgia patient expert here at um, Wellsphere. So all of the articles that I post on the fibromyalgia Bella online site ends up here as well. And then I also have a blog talk show called Fibro Herbs and Oils. And um, this show um, basically is talking about essential oils and non-toxic um, cleaning products and non-toxic personal care products. Now when it comes to couponing, you know, if you, if you don't have a toxic sensitivity like I do, then you can really rack up and get some things. Uh, but a lot of times when I'm couponing, I'll get a few things that I know people in my family use that they're not sensitive to. But the majority of the products that I use have to be um, natural or organic. So I sort of focus a lot of my attention on that when I do my YouTube videos. But when I can get a good deal for the rest of my family, I'll, I'll go out and grab it. <laughs> but... Um, there's a lot of us that, that do have these sensitivities, especially with fibromyalgia. You have what they call hypersensitivity. And so a lot of the fragrance uh, in products, uh, the different chemicals, if you smell them, you can get migraines, you can just get sick, your muscles will ache. So um, move, removing those toxins out of your environment really helps. I don't compromise too much on the cleaning products. Um, I did, I think, one time when I was couponing, but more, majority of the time I try to get seventh generation or I'll get, um, you know, some other type of um, personal care uh, product that, or, or, or cleaning product. Uh, I use baking soda a lot and, and uh, different things. So, uh, yeah, that's basically, you know, what I try to do but there's a lot of things that you can get even if you do have those type of sensitivities um, with couponing by couponing so that is the connection that's why I call myself fibro herbs uh, because of the uh, herbs and essential oils um, that I offer my clients um, especially when they take my workshops um, you can go to fibrosavings.com and find out more information about how you can uh, sign up and get a wholesale account to purchase essential oils and um, herbs and different things uh, that you may need for your family um, at a discount. So that is Fibro Herbs in a Nutshell. And I hope this little video kind of lets you know uh, a little bit more about what I do. And definitely stay tuned. You're, you'll be seeing a lot of videos on um, making aromatherapy products and um, you know how you can save money um, that way. I have a really really good idea that in fact maybe today or tomorrow I'll probably make that video uh, because we do have some coupons out on some products that you can use uh, to make your own stuff with. <laughs> so I, I'll just keep it at that just to keep your curiosity peaked. But uh, that's uh, all I have for now. This is Fibro Herbs. Um, stay tuned for future videos. 
and bye for now.